What's going on YouTube? GSNode8 here. So in today's video we're going to discuss about the current situation of the iOS jailbreaking and I'm going to talk about both iOS 10.3.x and also iOS 11.x. So um, there have been a lot of updates lately on uh, the Electra with Cydia and the tests seem to be going quite well and Coolstar has posted just a couple hours ago those screenshots in which he managed to install a couple tweaks with no problem. As you can see here there are apparently no errors and uh, the uh, tweaks seem to work perfectly fine which is quite good because this means that uh, he's making quite a lot of progress on installing tweaks and making Cydia to work properly. And as you can see here he has a Zeppelin which um, if I remember well changes the um, um, I don't know the Cartier text or something like that uh, but anyways he is doing a very very good job. He also posted in here quote Electra release candidate 1 will be limited release to developers only initially. It will be made available to the public once core third-party packages are updated, for example the FileZam and Rocket Bootstrap. Now a little bit of information for you, if you are uh, deciding to install like files are electrocuted or files are jailed, I would definitely uh, say do not do that, since a lot of people messed up their file systems using those versions and of course if you mess up your file system you can bootloop your device and lose your chance to jailbreak with Electra. So do do not install files that are uh, electrocuted and files are jailed. Wait for the official Cydia version of files. Are. Anyways, Anemone also gets an update. Quote, an Anemone update will be submitted to the Big Boss later today to support all devices on iOS 7.0 up to iOS 9.3.5, all 32-bit devices on iOS 10.x and add initial support for 64-bit devices running on iOS 11.0.x up to iOS 11.1.x, including the iOS 11.1.2 with Electra. We will also support the following devices on iOS 10.x, the iPhone 5, 6S, 6S Plus, iPhone SE, iPad Pro 9.7 inch and 12.9 inch. All other iOS 10 devices will not be supported until Meridian jailbreak is ready for them. So yeah, if you're waiting for the Electra, a lot of stuff is going on in the background. People and developers are updating their core tweaks that everybody's interested in to work with Electra and once the core tweaks like as I said Falza and Rocket Bootstrap are working fine, you will be able to get the build containing the Cydia. So we're very very close for iOS 11.0 up to iOS 11.1.2. I made a video a couple hours ago about Meridian. For those of you who missed it, the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus finally get to have a jailbreak on iOS 10.3.3, 10.3.2 and 10.x with Cydia. IB Sparks has posted some screenshots with Cydia finally working on the Meridian jailbreak. The project is definitely not dead and is definitely going on. Meridian has got a compatibility list available right now and it's pretty much an ongoing jailbreak that will be very very powerful. Powerful. You can learn more about this jailbreak and what's currently going on about it in the dedicated video that is available in the description down below. Check it out. I posted the video just a couple hours ago. I just wanted to mention it in case you missed it. So um, for those of you running on the 11.2.x, uh, the situation is not that good for the moment. The uh, exploits from the Imperium are not released for the moment as far as I know and Adam Donenfield didn't say anything about any release for the moment. So yeah, I will keep you updated on that. But if you're running iOS 11.2, 11.2.1 and 11.2.2, once these jailbreak exploits will be released, there's a chance that they can be used in Electra. So if there are proper exploits that can be used in Electra, expect Electra to be updated for iOS 11.2 up to iOS 11.2.2 after that. Anyways, iOS 11.2.5 doesn't look too good for the moment, so do not update to iOS 11.2.5. It's currently the only version signed by Apple, of course it will not stay for too long long once iOS 11.3 is out, but iOS 11.2.5 is not vulnerable to any publicly available exploits or to any upcoming exploits, so uh, it doesn't look too good for the jailbreaking for the moment. I am pretty sure that there will be a jailbreak for iOS 11.2.5 at some point, but do not expect it right now. So yeah, that's pretty much what's going on currently in the jailbreak community, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. This is pretty much to sum up what's going on so that you do not have to watch multiple videos at the same time. You have everything in one single video so that you understand what's going on. So yeah, for the Electra jailbreak, the developers are currently developing their tweaks and updating their tweaks to work on the newest version and of course the Meridian is currently ongoing so the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus users are not forgotten. 
So yeah, thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I'm Gio Snow. Peace out.